I know what you're all screaming in your chair right now, about damn time. If anyone is unfamiliar or haven't seen the last iteration of creepy images hidden in games, we explored seven strange, weird, disturbing, and all of the above photos hidden within the depths of video games. These featured some strange additions to games often lurking in the files, and some even in the game itself. To your enjoyment, or maybe your horror, I have gone ahead and put together another 8 images that devs have hidden as little trolls to scare viewers who dare search a little too hard through their game. As always, I'd hate to keep you waiting, so let's jump right in. Yes sir, I'm on my way! Bravo Company, incoming, move out, move out! Army Men Sarge Heroes brings men back to their childhood with a fun and goofy shooter featuring small toy army men. Players were able to walk around these large stages and explore a whole lot of snow and carrots? I joke, as many games during this time were forced to lack the fine details around the map to save space and focus on epic combat visuals like these. However, enter the Scorch mission and make your way to the trenches, players can see a brief glimpse of a map slip up and a secret area to crawl into. Going prone and entering this hidden room, players can find a rather disturbing photo of one of the devs. His head has been photoshopped to feature a large tumor stitched to himself, and his skull is morphed and stretched beyond belief. Yeah, maybe I'll stay out of this room for a little while. While this picture is bizarre, it's not too out of the ordinary as Army Men Sarge Heroes has a history of hiding weird photos throughout their game. A Japanese horror game titled Yuta Hata... Yuta Hano Tatari is no stranger to creepy images. That's actually a large aspect of horror in this RPG maker, and besides what I'm about to show you, there are some blatant unsettling images scattered throughout the game. However, one of the most horrifying images disguises itself as a glitch. The game is separated into two parts, and during the second part, players can find themselves outside of a building with gate arches to the left hand side. Walking through all three of them in no particular order will begin a countdown for a fake crash. It's often effective as because of the countdown, it happens at a seemingly random time, making the glitch seem authentic. An error screen will appear and the game will go black. Players will sit and wait in hopes that they are sent to the menu, but they are instead greeted with this. <laughs> The dull and dark image of what appears to be a dead woman's corpse appears on screen, with a faint tone playing in the background. I assume this isn't really a dead woman, but it's set a photo to appear as if she is. And I will say it gets the job done well. I actually love the horror behind this. The noise isn't loud and the image is almost hard to see, but once you start to make out all the features, it's quickly terrifying. Race with Ryan, what even is this game, man, is a children's game that's based around one of the most notorious YouTubers in existence, Ryan's World. Ryan is the kid who opens toys and gets paid a ridiculous amount, we're getting off topic here, and they release a watered down Mario Kart ripoff titled Race with Ryan. I mention all of this because the image you're about to see isn't too weird out of context. However, just know that some of the characters in this game are based off real life kids, and when I say that, I mean Ryan. Allow me to show you some of Ryan's face models. We have smile, frown, eyes closed smile, mouth open smile, and... Yeah, one unused model of Ryan's face features X's around the eyes with blood dripping down his head. His mouth is stitched up and it's really messed up. It's literally like a scene from Saw. It's just a poorly made doodle, but the fact that it was created over the model resembling a real life boy is just beyond disturbing. The developers have never made a comment on this inclusion. Ugh, this is the second time we have seen a Spongebob children's game here. I've lost all faith in humanity at this point. You will not believe what's hidden in Spongebob Super Sponge. Spongebob Super Sponge was a Spongebob platformer on the PlayStation that featured many characters we all know and love. However, let me tell you the plot and take good note of it. It is, and I quote, It's Patrick's birthday, and Spongebob wants to give him the best present ever. While lurking through the files, we can find hand drawings of many Spongebob characters. These are just plain head sketches, but then we stumble across three outliers that I'm forced to blur for the sake of community guidelines. <laughs> Very, 
very lewd photos of SpongeBob and Patrick. I'm just at a loss for words. If this isn't enough, there's more with Sandy, and even a photo of SpongeBob dressed in very tight bondage. I don't know what this is all about, but there were some really messed up and kinky developers behind this game, and I'm just gonna jump to the next one. I'm getting sick. Mario Kart GP was an exclusive Mario Kart to arcades. It featured the same concept as many other Mario Karts, except this included a collaboration with Namco, which resulted in Pac-Man guest characters. The fact that this was an arcade-themed Mario Kart is probably one of the reasons why the image hidden within the files stayed stashed away for so long. This photo was used as a placeholder to test the camera function in the arcade cabinet. This may not seem too bizarre at first glance, but the backstory is much sinister. Back in 2004, a school in Beslan, Russia was sieged by Islamic nationalist terrorists. About 1,100 people were taken hostage, including children, and after sending soldiers to handle the situation, a large gunfight ensued, with many innocent people being injured. The event was coined as the Beslan School Hostage Crisis, and this photo was taken from there. Final Fantasy is a fantastic game which you should all play, but I say this because this image contains very slight spoilers. It could be more, but I will reveal the image in a way that doesn't say too much about the story. So the main character of FF8 is this guy named Squall. The ending of the game featured a glitchy mess of delusions and flashbacks, in which many visual effects are present and images begin to flash. There is lore behind this, but like I said, I'm trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible. Within the mess of faint images, we see this picture of Squall for only a few frames. His head has been modified to feature a huge hole, and on the inside, it's just a hollow void. The image really does get more creepy the more you look at it. It honestly looks like one of those Photoshop images used for a bad creepy pasta. And then Squall walked into my house, hole in head. Regardless, it is terrifying and it really is a powerful addition when you learn more about the story. Like I said, I know it's old, but just go check it out. Tomb Raider really is a joy, because you can explore so many secrets and hidden locations. There really is endless possibilities to what you might find. Well, even with this, I don't think anyone expected to see what hides in Tomb Raider Last Revelations. Coming to the following location and using a position editor in order to manipulate the game's save file, players can move to a normally inaccessible ledge. From here, players can begin to jump across the side of a cliff until they see a lost room on the edge of the map. The textures used for the walls of this box is this really eerie pale white figure of what seems to resemble a woman. Luckily, the photo is in poor quality, but I guess that kinda adds to the creepiness? The reason behind this inclusion is that the building is actually accessible at a different point of the game. Using the position editor to revisit the location at a point normally inaccessible, the textures are changed to this one instead of the typical temple design. Our last entry in this list lies in Little Nightmares. I know, there's so much possibilities that can come from a game that puts a small child in a world of giant freakish ghouls and monsters. While looking through the pictures in the game files, Reddit user Sopa found an unsettling image titled Wilderness Creepy Guy. This image seems to feature a bald man whose upper lip is stretched towards his nose. Looking through the Reddit posts, many users theorize who this might be, with some popular guesses being the doctor from the hospital chapter or a version of one of the brothers from the kitchen chapter. Regardless of where this might lie, the blurred and faint drawing of this mysterious character sure is chilling. Hey, did you guys know it's really scary? That about 96% of you aren't subscribed. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like as it helps with the algorithm and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. Have you discovered any chilling images hidden in games? Let me know in the comments below and you might get featured in the next iteration. Thank you all so much and I hope to see you all next time.